Welcome back. Right, what are we doing? What are we doing? We're cooking. You can see all the stuff behind and there. No, I've moved it. It's all there now. Right, what are we cooking then? We are going to do cauliflower cheese. Yeah, we love his cheese and chilies. Yes, not ordinary cauliflower cheese. Before you switch off and say, oh yeah, I've seen it. Bung your cauliflower in the oven with cheese sauce on. No, not ours. You know, you're a spice and easy watcher on our channel. It's going to be spice related. We don't stick to the norm, I keep telling you. So we're doing spicy cauliflower cheese. Mmm. I'm looking forward to this because it's going to be nice. I've got dog biscuits here, not for me, for this Muppet. Because I've had to shut that door because the walking brick, brick with a B I said, is scratching like mad in there again. Oh, I'm so going to get a recipe for it, I tell you. Um, so yeah, we're going to do spicy cauliflower cheese. It's going to be nice, I know it is. It's just a nice twist on it. Um, it's not just chilies, we're putting a couple of other things in there as well. And it's what you want. Nice weather outside and you can't go out, only in your garden at the minute, because we're on lockdown. So what do you want to do? You want to cut your tea, nice comfort food, and watch a film. So whatever your main meal is, pie or whatever, have some nice spicy cauliflower cheese with it. I know, you'll love it. You'll love it. Yeah, you will. I'm going to love it anyway, because I'm eating it. He's going to want to eat it, so he's going to want to love it. You can have a biscuit. Keeps him quiet. Shall we go and show you our take on cauliflower cheese? Hmm? Come on then. So what are we going to use for this then? Cauliflower. Obvious really, isn't it? 600 grams there. I'm going to parboil it. If you don't don't know or not sure how to parboil, uh, I'm going to put it in the water, bring it to the boil, then turn it down, simmer it for a few minutes, take it off so it's not quite cooked. Then it'll be already finished off in the oven. Job done on that one. 50 grams butter. Enough said. 50 grams plain flour. Enough said. Yes, jeez. And here we've got one finely chopped up Scotch bonnet and six finger chilies. Really, really thinly sliced. Yeah, quite a lot in there. Obviously, if you're not a chili head, cut back on the chili. Uh, just put one or two in there. It's up to you. You can put red hot ones if you're an idiot, which we are normally. I'll try not to break the dish. Um, cheddar, cheese, cheese. Now, the cheese. In there, I have got 200 grams. Now, it's different sorts because I want it to look nice. I'm hoping that's going to work. There's equal quantities of red Leicester, double Gloucester and mature cheddar. Um, and as I say, 200 grams. We're going to use half of it in the sauce to give it cheese flavour. And half of it sprinkled over the top to give it more cheese flavour. Then we've got... 600 mils of milk now with the milk I may not need all of that so what I'm going to do is tell you what I've put in when I'm making the sauce I just want to make sure I've got enough so I don't have to keep running to the fridge and getting more so we'll tell you how much we're putting in there now that's it for your sauce your cauliflower cheese and then what we're going to do before the cheese is sprinkled over the top on the dish and it goes in the oven we're going to put garlic granules you can use fresh garlic, but I just find if you've got those, it's easier than chopping all your garlic. And we're spice and easy, so we like to make things easy. There's all that scattered there, like that garlic granules fell out there. And we're going to sprinkle some smoked paprika on as well, just to give it a slight smoky taste. So that's your ingredients. Cauliflower, butter, plain flour, smoked paprika, garlic granules, finely chopped chilies, cheese, cheese and milk. Did you get all the quantities? You're going to have to rewind if you didn't. And we're going to put a bit of salt and pepper in the sauce as well. And that's it. So, I'm going to parboil them. And then we'll put it all together and show you why we put it all together. So you know what we're doing. 
And I'm now going, letting him out, because he's sitting at the door waiting, because I'm not paying him enough attention. Again. Right, we'll catch you in a minute. Right then, the uh, cauliflower has been parboiled. Voila. So let's get on and let's do the sauce. Ingo di butter. Nice bit of butter. We'll just wait for that to melt. Right, butter's all nicely melted. So what you do now, we'll turn the heat down a bit. Add the flour. Whisking and whisking and whisking. You're making what's called a roux. A little roux. Danny Le Roux, you remember him? <laughs> Showing me age now, ain't I? So, keep doing this, whisking it in, making that paste. La 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 la. I sing to you. No, alright. Good. Because I can't sing. Keep whisking this in, you're looking for a smooth paste. We're not looking for the glaze. If you've not watched our uh, spice pack videos, you ain't got a clue what I'm talking about with the glaze. And the spices will burn. Nearly there, look. I put the last bit of flour in. So, there's your paste or your roux. As you Danny, turn it up a bit. Right, now we start to add the milk. Keep stirring to get rid of the lumps. We don't want lumpies. Got the whisk out to do this, but I don't think I'm going to need it. Saves on the washing up, doesn't it? I can't think it goes really quick. We're getting there. We're getting there. Ooh, it's like a workout. Just for me, anyway. Closest I come to a workout nowadays. Apart from running around like an idiot on the lawn chasing Zeus around when he's got the balls and the squeaky toys. Get in there now. Get in there. I think we will use the whisk now. Amazing, isn't it? A whisk is better for whisking. Well, this should start to thicken up. Just started to thicken now. I did use all of the milk, so whatever I said, I think it was 600 ml. Now you can just see it's just starting to thicken now. Consistency of double cream, and now we're going to wang some of the cheese in. Do keep stirring while you're doing the sauce and when you add the cheese because it will stick to the bottom and then you'll get burnt bits in it. So that is probably half of the cheese just gone in. 
And we're going to stir that. That's thickened it again, look, on that. And now we're going to add some salt. And some pepper. And the chilies. Now oh, it looks different, doesn't it? See how that's thickened up now when the cheese melts. Oven's already on. And that, as you saw, still oh, smells of cheese and chilies. Actually, smells a bit like those uh, cheddars you buy with the chilies in the extra hot Mexicanas and that sort of thing. It smells a bit similar to that. So, that's your sauce done. Now let's go and let's put it all together. Right then, here's the dish. Let's get the collie in. Let's tip it in and then arrange it. A little slightly smaller dish I think really, but... This is enough for two people, by the way, you can up the quantity of collie if you want, you'll have enough sauce there. But this is just for us two. Look at that. Collie. Collie, collie. So, sauce over the top. Ideally, you want this packed in tight, the cauliflower, but uh, I haven't got a dish small enough, so maybe if I'd have done a bit more cauli, it would have done better, but then we'd have had some left over. No burnt bits in the bottom of the sauce, but... Nice for it even goes in the oven, doesn't it? That's that done. Now, before we put the cheese on, a quick sprinkle of salt, pepper, some garlic granules. As I say, you can use fresh garlic if you're going to do that. Then put them in with the butter, really thinly sliced or chopped, and do them with the butter at the same time. So that is your garlic granules. And then we put some smoked paprika. I love smoked paprika. Love it. And the rest of your cheese. Getting away there. Looks better with the uh, the different types of cheese as well. So you've got a nice contrast in your colour. You could do a main dish with this if you want to add uh, things like butter beans would be really nice in it. Um, chickpeas anything like that would be really well and it would make a vegetarian main dish quite tasty as well mix that in with the uh, cauliflower when you first put it in the bowl and that is done that's now going to go in the oven i'll come back and tell you how long it took as well as trying it and dishing up you're gonna love it right that has had Oh, 40 minutes ish you'll know because the cheese will be done like that oh that looks nice yeah I want that big burny bit in the middle right so the 
we can get some out. Oh, on gonna the plate. It, you're going to make a mess now. That look well nice as well. I know. It still does. You can put less meal if you want the sauce thicker. Just putting a bit on there just to try it. Because then we're having it with some pie. You and your pie. Right, pies. You want to try it? No, it's too hot for me. Oh. You're having pot noodle. I ain't. I'm having that. That's cooked nice. Right, quick pause. We have to let that cool down a bit. It's too hot. Too hot. I want that crispy bit. <laughs> See. Oh, hot, hot, hot. Mm. Well, the chili comes through at the end, and you've got the smoked paprika, the garlic, and the cheese. Nice. It's a winner. Yeah, that's lovely. Now, as I said, you could do a main with this. Put more cauliflower if you've got a big enough dish. Same quantities with a bit more cauliflower. Tin of butter beans mixed in with your cauliflower. Or, I've just had another idea and forgot straight away. Oh. <laughs> uh, pasta. Everyone's stocked up on pasta. You've all got six years worth now. So, um, not spaghetti. You could put spaghetti if you break it up, but... Pasta twirls, whirls, whatever they're called, twists. Like a macaroni cheese type thing. Yeah, cut your pasta and then drain it, mix it in with your cauliflower when you put that in your dish and then pour the cheese over the top. That would be the main. Mm. Pasta and cauliflower bake. Yep, lovely. And that's it. We're done. Enjoy. Cauliflower cheese done the spice in easy way. And... And what? Mm -hmm. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Yo, Greg. We'll see you later. Bye.